So I got my mom actually caught me getting in the bathroom by an eighth grader at school. Why was your mom walking into the bathroom at school? She worked there. Oh she worked with God. the special Yo, education. Her brother's kids. life must have been hell. Yo, can you imagine her brother? She life? walked in on you getting fingered? Yeah. Like, what position were you? Where? where what part of the, the wall? Oh, I remember my. it clearly. And what, what does your mom say when she sees this? I really don't remember. I just remember I ended up in the principal's office. And then I... Uh, I she think told I just, on you? I, yeah. How do you punish a child for fingering another child? <laughs> How do your mom see that and then tell the principal on you? Yeah, aren't you supposed to be like, listen, I'm, I'm not going to tell anybody, but you're in a lot of trouble. I think she just said that she caught us in the bathroom kissing because she felt like obligated to say something. Like she can't just yeah. walk out of there because there's cameras with both of us and not say anything. I think that does make some sense. Yeah. Okay. So she kind of saved my ass, but in a way, like I got my phone ran over because it, it like happened within like a month of each other so my dad like ran over my phone like nine times back and forth <laughs> Just, because of that yeah my oh. brother's phone was shattered on the ground because he had thrown it against the wall yo i'm gonna be real with you though too like if you get in trouble for making out in the bathroom or you get in trouble for finger banging someone in the bathroom i mean is it kind of like the same crime yeah i was punished a lot for it <laughs> like being in the bathroom in the first place is pretty much like the primary crime especially right? with a boy yeah Anyway, um, okay. But wait, wait though. How, okay, so how was your brother reacting to this? Because I can't imagine me being a high schooler that all of my friends are just out here finger. Well, not all my friends, but like, <laughs> but like my friends know dudes were fingering my little sister. Some friends, yeah. And are getting nudes and shit from her. So how was your brother life? How was he reacting to this? Uh, we were not very close. He hated I can imagine. Me. Yeah. <laughs> he hated me. Uh, he caught me jumping out the window once. Oh my god! Oh. And I broke my foot. Um, but he he like covered for me that one time. He covered for but me. But you had to tell your parents like hey, I broke my foot trying to jump out the window to go get fingered. No, we had a pool with the grotto. So yeah. I said it was from when I jumped in the pool. What's a grotto? <laughs> it's like a waterfall. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Yeah. So then high school was less lit than this? You were crazier in middle school? High school was rough. Why? High school was rough. Um, there's a football team. And oh, then oh, here we go. There, I was a cheerleader. <laughs> okay. So uh, that was fun. Um, until like you realize, hey, all these football players like know each other. And, you know, my friends were like dating some of them. I was dating some of them. It was kind of a mess because my high school was, it was really small. So yeah. everyone like knew each yeah. other. Even if it was big, they're still going to know. If, if the football team, yeah. if there's some girl banging a large percentage <laughs> of you, they're going to talk about it. And they judge the fuck out of you. They do. Yeah. And, and um, We're grown men. We would do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay so, how many, okay. so how many footballers did you fuck? Or how many like football players did On you On this fuck? specific team. There was four of them. Mm. But they were like. You could like you had to have them once at least, at least because they were just like they fucked with your mind. You they know were that mean? hot. They were. Wow. They so, were really good looking. I wish so girls were talking like that about me. Only four. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not that crazy though. Well, it was but like on one team. It was at like the same 15, time, twenty dudes for on? like months. Oh. So there was a guilt kind of towards the end of it when it yeah. was like, oh, are you gonna tell you know Ben? Or you? Did gonna... some of them lie to you? Uh. Was it like that at all? No. You're like, you're playing with their heartstrings a little mm -hmm. bit, right? Yeah. I mean, oops. Do you ever bang them in a group setting? No, it wasn't cool. It wasn't cool then. It wasn't like a thing. It's still not cool to a lot of people, probably. A what lot change? of guys that I went to school with wanted to experience with their asses. And that's like, Whoa. I'm, I'm not into it. I, I know a lot of girls who are. Like, they wanted their butts fingered or eaten? <laughs> like fingered, touched, maybe licked. Yo, but, those group, bro, those group chats must have been lit. Like. Does that creep you out knowing that I like getting my butthole licked? <laughs> oh, it okay. So there's, where's the hair? Um, there's a difference between like you build up to that with somebody, right? Like a comfortability. Yeah. I will have a girl come over and I will just jump on my knees on the bed and just show her my ass and say, "Hey, lick this." Oh, there's just not enough confirm, therapy. <laughs> There's not enough therapy. I'm just kidding. I won't do it. But uh, <laughs> so, so you like engaging with the guy's asshole? Maybe you build up to it over time. I mean, if I really like him, okay. if I'm like admiring his whole, I don't know about now. Um, 
but I, I had an ex I wanted to eat his ass really bad, and he like gave me the go ahead, and I'm like, I really don't like it. It's hairy. Yeah, and covered in shit. I didn't I taste hear. that because I had given them like a warning, like you should probably like. Let me hit you with a scenario. The other day, we're filming a plug talk scene or whatever, right? And and the girl had said something about how she liked eating ass or whatever. So then while we're filming, I'm like getting ahead from my girl and just take her head and just like jam it in my ass. And she's just licking my ass all crazy or whatever. And then afterwards, she says to me, because we're cool, we're like friends. She says to me, Adam, you need to shave your asshole. You didn't shave it before you shoved her head in there? Absolutely not. Oh but she didn't God. say it tastes like shit or anything. She didn't say anything about shit. I've had girls tell me that they were eating shit basically off my asshole before, but yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, I, I would literally vomit. I would ruin the whole thing. I mean, <laughs> in order for me awful. to shave my asshole, I have to either get help from someone or I have to take a big razor and just dip into my own ass cheeks and just swipe away. How do you think no, we do it? I, I don't know. I never ass. thought about it. You like grab a cheek. Yeah, you pull you just, it. You got to be a little bit limber and you got to like put it up on the wall. And there's this wow. stuff called cocoa butter nope. at Target. Not doing that. Black yeah. folks love cocoa butter. Yeah, it makes the razor just slide right over it. They told me I'm not allowed to use it on my asshole at least. <laughs> <laughs> he just likes it hairy and shitty. <laughs> okay, but so then what happened? What ended up happening with all these football players? Uh, okay, well, like now? Where are they now? I don't know. Just you, you acted like there was some grand conclusion coming with all these guys finding out they were all banging you. Uh... The one simp actually wifed her, and then she had to cut off the other three. I wish. Two of them turned gay. Ooh. And it was senior year. <laughs> senior year. And I feel like it, that might be like they didn't care. So I was only really care, like having to deal with two of them. Okay. You know what I mean? Like emotionally and shit. Like the other two were just like really hot and like they were there. Okay. Uh, and I think it was homecoming. I was like dancing with one of them. Or not homecoming. Uh, prom. I was dancing with one of them and one of them comes over and he like tried to start something with Colt, the guy I was with. Mm. And it kind of turned into like this, I don't want either of you because I had my like sugar daddy at the time. But you had he a was sugar a daddy in high school? Yeah, but I was <sighs> 18. I was 18, gotcha. right? Like about uh, to graduate. Man. <laughs> uh, I don't know who to feel bad for. I don't know who, who's more fucked up in the scenario. Wait, have you? I was on before definitely. OnlyFans. That's when in high school is when I started my girl fund, which was like a place where you could sell your news and your feet before OnlyFans was a thing. There's a website called Girl Fund. My Girl Fund. Yeah. And you could sell nudes and stuff. Yeah, it was that, but it, they took like 25% until you like made 50k with them, and they gave you like 15%. So it. And this is how you met sugar daddies as well? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how much money did you make on this? I feel like maybe 2K, but I wasn't really trying, okay. you know? It, and it but was. This, but basically, you're telling me that you were someone who was. You were going to be a sex worker, more or less. <laughs> like. I mean, I did it for free in freaking middle school. Like, yeah. if I made money off of it in high school. I mean, it's just two different categories of girls because I've probably interviewed more OnlyFans girls than anyone on earth. There's, there's girls who at some point in their life have to make a decision oh i'm 25 i went to college i fucking tried being in the military but you know what i'm not happy with it i'm gonna do only fans mm -hmm. and then there's other girls who just straight up like they knew from 16 or 17 or whatever that, that, that they were gonna do it and it was it was never like a choice it was just kind of obvious to them yeah which is scary well kind of there's certain like there's a type and b type like alphas and then you have the other type, which is like my friends who like their family life. And then you have like your hybrids. You're an alpha? I am. Mm, I think I, I've come to that. And so she's your little mama under your wing? She is my mom. Like yes. she helps me. Yeah. Really? 100%, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't she makes me be brave and like do stuff, but it's really been working out. because She's it, ruining your life? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, she's helping a lot. She's helping? Yeah. Wow. Look she's doing it all by herself. Her. True. Wow, and and like, was there any college? Because I, again, I could imagine if you're already selling nudes, it's pretty much like fuck college since you are making so much money. <laughs> I did one semester, mm. and then uh, I, that's when I was like, yeah. I'm like, I'm not for school. Like, school's not for me. How many dudes you bang in college during the semester? Just one. Oh. I was really like focused on money. I wanted money. I wanted a house, money, house, money, house, and uh, <laughs> I just kept going for the money. Wow. 
So yeah. when, when did you fully like drop in on OnlyFans? Actually, how old are you right now? <laughs> 27. 21. Yeah, 27. Yo, yo, listen, I'm great at it, man. Everyone's going to find this out. I just did an issue with Penthouse. Really? Yeah, it comes out August 1st. You're acting like you're old because you're 27. <laughs> and she's I feel like a dinosaur. I don't think that's old. Well, I'm like, I'm hanging out with her all the time, and she's 21. She has 14. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> so she's helping you keep that young energy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like all my friends are a lot younger. He's 14 years younger than me. Yeah. And we do OnlyFans together. I love it. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> oh, wait, Who's so like, where did you get in? No, come yeah. the fuck? No, come <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, this was a clip from the No Jumper Patreon. If you want to watch it in full, where they get naked and all this other crazy stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash no jumper and check it out in full. We drop a new one every week.